We've been married since 2006, so, you know, simple little math tells us we've been married a long time. And uh, we've got four kids, so that's uh, four kids, long time being married, high school sweethearts, Steve, Bethany, we're the jewels. Well, we didn't really jump right into it, did we? No, we waited. We waited a, a long time because we were really young when we got married. So we knew we wanted to wait a while till we became parents because we know it's a big responsibility. <laughs> so we waited quite a while and had two right away. And then I decided, I said, I don't think we should be done. So we had a third. And then I was like, okay, we're done. And then Steve decided. Well, we decided, but it was my idea. And then uh, a little while later, she's like, I don't think two's enough. I said, I think two's enough. And so we had the third, and then I was like, well, now we're odd, and we need another boy to even things out, because the third one was a girl. And so we were really excited when we found out that our fourth was gonna be a boy. And, uh, you know, they gave us, what, an hour to be excited before we got the bad news that there were some anomalies on this uh, scans, but, um, but I mean, we're still excited. We knew we were gonna have another boy and we we're gonna be three and three. So at our 20 week scan, they did see some abnormalities with his brain development. And so they sent us right away to a specialist in Kansas City. And so we had to get lots of tests, lots of, uh, lots more scans, and um, basically they diagnosed him with hollow prosencephaly um, and hydrocephalus, and they said that could mean a wide variety of things. Um, they told us initially that he probably would not be born alive, that he would we'd probably lose him in utero, um, and then along with that that diagnosis, they did offer to terminate my pregnancy at 22 weeks. I mean, the, the decision was pretty immediate for me. I said, no, um, it's a place you don't ever think you'll be in. Um, we did not see it coming because our first three pregnancies and our first three children are very typical, straightforward, easy pregnancies, and they're very healthy. And so this was just came out of left field and it, it took us back and it was, it was a really hard time because we, you know, we were grieving that our fourth child was not going to be healthy. And then at that point, we were also kind of grieving his life because we didn't even know if he would be born alive. So we hoped he would. So that's why we chose to continue the pregnancy because we didn't want to give up. We had this idea he was not going to be born alive, uh, that he would most likely. That was kind of, we left the hospital thinking that. And I remember telling her, I said, my biggest fear isn't that we have a kid that dies. My biggest fear is that we have a kid that is a burden on us for the rest of our lives. It's, it's really selfish to, when you say it like that, it sounds like that. And experience has taught me that it, that wasn't something that should have been a worse fear because Jetson is nothing but a blessing and we, would, we wouldn't trade him for anything. We're just enjoying having him, you know, part of the family. And he does add a lot. He, he, uh, he rooms with, with Jackson, our oldest. They're roommates just like me and my brother were. The kids love him, we love him. Uh, he's part of the family. And, and so prognosis going forward, or it looks like uh, that's hopefully gonna continue. Yeah. The doctors have been so great and they have given us, you know, all of the wisdom that they have and they have done their best to prepare us. Um, but they don't know everything. And, and I think they, they readily admit that. We don't know what Jetson's gonna do. They told us that many times. Mm -hmm. We don't know, and they try to prepare us for the worst case scenario. Um, but God knows what Jetson's life's gonna be like. He knows what our capacity is to, t to care for him. And uh, we're just thankful that God has, in his wisdom, allowed us to have him for the five years we have. And, and we look hopefully to the future for many more. Jetson's been just um, overcoming obstacles his whole life. And um, so it's just, it's great to see how, I mean, we just give all the glory to God, like only he could do those things. And what we expect our life to be like is often not what God's plan is. So um, just growing in that has been good for us. If we're just gonna hold on to our expectations and once those are violated, then, you know, we can't continue or things aren't the way we want them to be and, and, and now we have this enmity towards God or whatever. 
Um, that can't be that can't be what life's about, you know, about us and what we want. Um, we have to at some point trust God, and God's not here for our comfort, but He is here for His glory, and He's here for growth. And I think that a lot of times the glory and the growth comes from tough situations. He's not what we expected, but He is still a gift.